It's time to break some records. Six events. One of them is brand new here. And it's going to be a lot of fun on Record Breaker Sunday here at the Arnold Sports Festival. We're going to kick things off with that. Thor's Hammer will be the first record that we try to break here on Sunday. Thanks for being with us, everybody. I'm Sean Woodland with Dr. Bill Crawford and Jerry Pritchett. Kiki Dixon will be out there on the competition floor giving us reports throughout the afternoon. But uh, Record Breakers is always fun because there are plenty of surprises that we get throughout the competition. Absolutely. It's head-to-head -head competition. And it's against history. That's mm -hmm. the beautiful part about Strongman. We love that. It's not just against each other. It's also against history. And this is always kind of the fun day of the competition, too, because some of the stress of the, the overall yeah. competition, the main competition is over. You know, even though there's a lot of money on, on the line here, but it, it still this is a fun day. Go out and have some fun to kind of test your, your grip on some things, your strength on, on a few other things like this uh, Thor's hammer hold. And this is going to be fun. So the Thor's hammer hold will be up first. And Trey Mitchell, the current record holder, will be in the field. The men's hammer weighs 65 pounds. Women's hammer is 50 pounds. And Mitchell just more than a minute. And Rebecca Roberts is also going to be competing. She has the record for the women at 39.09 seconds. And Sean, with 65 pounds held out in front of you, <laughs> just over a minute is an eternity. <laughs> it, 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 uh, it is definitely a lot of mental Oh. A, little, a lot of mental issue with that. Yep. So I think I think basically, you know, lock your position. Make sure your back is is uh, your shoulder blades are locked in. Lock in your shoulders and get your position, and then kind of go to a happy place. Yeah, and then holding that position because your back has to stay in contact, your butt still has to stay in contact, and then elbows can't bend, that hammer can't drop. So then you really once you lock in, like then you got to go to that place and then keep firing to hold those positions. This is not easy. And these, Women's have, women have 50-pound hammers. That's amazing. It's only 15 pounds off the men. <laughs> About 23 kilos for the women. And it's going to be Olga Lischuk, who competed yesterday in the first-ever Arnold Strong Woman Classic and had a great competition. She finished fourth overall. Just, it just uh, came down to the last event. She still had a shot to win, obviously. Very close at winning. And she'll be competing against Jessica Ornelas. So Jerry, I always turn my elbows in, kind of, you know, okay. sort of a little sort of lock in, your, yeah. yeah, a little twist and lock in, yeah. and put it above your face a little bit, and then lower it down with that twisted, well, you, twisting into it. Yeah, you kind of like kind of like rest back into the lats, really flex the lats, lock in your shoulder blades. Yeah, and I always felt like your traps were really involved too. I mean, it, it always after you know a few seconds, everything starts screaming. <laughs> it does, especially your mind. Yeah, and. and you know, some of these athletes like Olga just did a full competition the last two days. Had a heavy log press on Friday. Those shoulders aren't back to 100% yet. <laughs> no, I'll bet. I, another thing, these implements are beautiful. Oh, I went well, down just to pick them up and touch them. They're amazing. It's typ typical r between Rogue and, and Steve Slater. I mean, the, what, what Rogue does out of metal and Steve Slater and his, his son Landon do out of wood. I mean, his works of art, they you are. know. Not only just pieces of equipment, but I mean, they make beautiful equipment. Stainless steel. And from a fan's perspective, the implements kind of become an attraction <laughs> in themselves. Absolutely. Like the they Wheel do, of Pain yeah. or Thor's Hammer. It, it's the, really the oak. become its own other part of the Arnold, you know, and, and the Rogue Invitational is what is Rogue going to make mm -hmm. now to put out there, you know, because they, they keep getting more and more elaborate now. You know, we saw the roller coaster. That was incredible. You know, the roller coaster. <laughs> They, once the athlete nods to the judge, they'll be good to go. And we will have an unofficial time that we'll try to keep for you here. So it's Locked in. Jessica Ornelas is on the left. Leeschuk is in the yellow tights on the right. That was like Dr. Bilda said. Now it's just kind of numbing out. Already Put, up to about 15 seconds. Put your mind in that place. Embrace the pain. 39.09 seconds. That is the record. Starting to go a little bit. And Jessica is starting right, to Jessica falter a little. About. The judge is going a little drop. She's about out. Yeah. Well, Olga is getting close fighting, here. Fighting. Oh. I don't think she's going to have it, but she got oh. really close. We'll have to wait for the official time. She did really well. Uh, and those are some legendary judges there, too. So. Yeah. Ode Haugen and Terry Young. 
by my unofficial time, it was right around 38 seconds. But wow. we'll have to wait for the time on the floor. And I think I saw Olga shake her head a little bit. So she, she probably knows she was really close. And that's saying once this starts going, it just goes. I mean, it, it it's it's really you fight and fight and fight, but it's just hold five pounds out in front of you. Exactly. And that's Absolutely. Yeah. Going to get heavy really fast. Let's go back down to the competition floor. What? Uh, Kiki Dixon is standing by. Kiki Dixon is not standing by. She's standing by to stand by, and we will hear from her in a little bit. Let's find somebody to talk to. I always found that uh, I always found that the uh, once it starts to slide down. And you just start you start that whole you know squeezing your traps and arcing your neck a little bit. Yeah, it's could, just gonna keep going. Yeah, because you do everything you can to try to fight it, but once once that, everything's fatigued, it it just goes. You know, it's. I always look for the shake. The shake's the first thing. Yeah. You get a little bit of shake, and yeah. then it starts to drift. And once you get the drift and the shake, that's it. Yeah. And now our current record holder, Rebecca Roberts, who finished second at the. 2023 Arnold Strongwoman Classic will be up, and she'll be going up against Gabby Dixon. See if Rebecca can better her record. Rebecca has a great grip. She's great grip. Great grip. She ran up that. She ran up the hill with the. Uh, she's the really, what she showed this weekend. She's an all-around great strength athlete. Yes, and she's going up against Gabby Dixon. Hopefully, Gabby will push her for that, for that overall record. And Rebecca had one of the more memorable moments of the weekend when she pushed the wheel of pain almost 93 feet. She won that event by 30 feet. <laughs> that was, I mean, she had a good enough time to be in, in probably mid-pack. It would have been top five for yeah. the men. Now, granted, it was a little lighter, but still impressive nonetheless. Especially for the first time you'd ever seen the implement. Yeah. And she was called in as the alternate, so you know she had never actually even trained no. that. Yeah, she made a huge statement this weekend coming in as an alternate and almost winning it. Absolutely. Pushed to the very end. Was she only, what, two, two points shy of winning? Yes. We'll try to keep an unofficial time here. Okay, there she goes. As she goes up first. She went high and let it kind of come back into the lats. So interesting technique there by Gabby Dixon. Yes. Now, once you start, you have to hold huh. that grip. There's no change in that grip once... Well, notice she's also got the bottom of the handle out a little bit, so she's almost levering against the, the top hand. I think yeah. that might put a little more pressure on that left arm, but we'll see. She's going pretty strong right now. Yeah, they're looking good. Rebecca looks really comfortable. Gabby's looking strong. That's an interesting technique. I don't think I've ever seen that before. No, right, over. Yeah, right around 30 seconds now. 30 seconds. Wow, here we go. They're both right there. Usually you always see the one hand on top of the and other. And by my count, we're above 40 seconds. So whoever drops first. We're going to have a record. Money on the line here. Rebecca Roberts oh, is down oh, and Gabby oh. Dixon is down. So we'll have to see what the official time is. But by our count, we're up 45 seconds plus here. Wow. So is that Gabby? I don't know. Because hey, we don't know what, when each... The clock starts start. differently for each athlete. Yeah, yeah, so we don't know when owed it started versus Terry, so. Oh, but Gabby Dixon looks like she may have set a new record. We'll have to wait for the official time, but again, by our count, we were above 45 seconds there. We're excited. Yeah, unusual so technique. 49 yeah. people do it. Point yeah. 49.15 seconds, so best the prior record by more than 10 seconds. So Gabby Dixon starts us off with a new record and she's with Kiki Dixon. Congratulations on your world record. When did you first find out you were extraordinarily good at just holding statically? Today. <laughs> Definitely today. It's been a struggle this whole prep, so. And what did your prep look like? A lot of front holds and lateral raises. Makes sense. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Gabby Dixon sets the new standard for the women's hammer hold, 49.15 seconds. And she beats the prior record by 10 seconds. And I think you're going to see a lot of people maybe start messing with that, 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 that technique. Was, that was new. Uh, yeah, definitely going to see some people trying that now because I've I never seen it before. And it worked great for her. Also, too, if you notice, she had that the bottom of the handle out just a little bit. 
And I thought there'd be a lot of pressure on that left arm, but in the end, well, she kind of leveraged it. And it really makes lock in. sense, right? Because you try to do that lats. anyways. With you know, when you um, stacked, you try to do it. So it kind of makes sense to kind of. Uh huh. I mean, that'd be something we're going to try. Well, one event down for the women and one new record. The men are going to be up next for the forward hammer hold, and we'll uh, get you those athletes here in just a second as they, they get the floor ready. But again, we're going to have six total events for the men and the women. One of them is new. That is the stone over bar for repetitions. That's coming up in a little bit. And we'll also have the uh, the Dinny stole stone hold and for the men, and then the, or pardon me, for the women, and the Dinny stone walk for the men. So that's going to be a lot of fun uh, to check out. But this has been a really fun weekend as it always is we've had that uh, Arnold Strongman and Strong Woman Classic on Friday and Saturday there's you know plenty of countries represented here you know, 20,000 athletes more than 80 countries there were 60 sports and plenty of fantastic moments and we saw a couple uh, over the weekend you know Friday and Saturday with the, both the Arnold Strongman and Strong Woman Classics and it was really great seeing uh, the women be able to get on that same stage as the men absolutely and it's time uh, they, they really showed that they belong, and a lot of people were there just to see their individual athletes and they, that they followed. That's why people love this because, you know, Mark Henry this morning told me, he said, this is the closest thing to pro wrestling yeah. he's ever seen because <laughs> people come in and they identify with an athlete. Yeah. I'm oh, sure Jerry's got his own fans and, you know, yeah. the Iron Outlaw, and they, can, they come and they're, they're ready to root for their person. Yeah, and, and the women for, for the last several years have been really deserving of this, yeah. and, and it's, a, it's really about time it's happened, and, and uh, really, Kudos to Rogue for making this happen and, yeah. and, and putting them on the stage with the men. And the thing that I liked about it, too, is that there was an equal amount of excitement for each one. I mean, the, yeah. it wasn't like there were Absolutely. fewer fans in the stands for the women than there were for the men. And no. it was a, just a great finish. Or arguably, a few of their events were more exciting than the men. Yeah. I mean, their, that deadlift competition was very tight. I mean, mm. and I'd like to see them just keep going. Right. You know, for what, the, you know, Andrea and Victoria, I mean, they had more, more in the tank. I think so. You know? And then to see, uh, I was really impressed by Tamara actually not getting the lift at, and then putting 10 pounds on the bar and coming through with it again. And she didn't do straps. Yeah. Yeah, so it was uh, very exciting. I, uh, I think another piece of it was that it just shows us that we're on equal footing for, for both sides, you know, for the men and the women, and yeah. people really do want to see yeah. women. And you go into their frame carry, their frame carry was like a drag race. Oh, I mean, they they're going to make that thing heavier, I think, they're, next they're time. They're going to have to, because I mean, they, they were separated by tents. I mean, yeah. you're, you're, how quick can you hit the stopwatch if they were running so fast? As an organizer of strength events, I know that sometimes you'll, you'll worry about, is this too heavy, is this too heavy? I always tend to put a little more on than you think yeah. it's going to be because it typically, you know, the adrenaline and the whole training process well, the, the, comes together. The crowd and everything. Well, let's bring in the other member of our broadcast team, Kiki Dixon. She's out on the competition floor. If you're at home wondering how can you get here to the Rogue Record Breaker competition floor, there are a couple pathways in. One is be a part of the pro show. If you're part of the pro show, you can get an invite in. The other way is to be a part of one of the Rogue Record Breaker qualifying events that you can find out information about it at roguefitness.com. If you qualify, if you're at the top of the leaderboard, you can get an invite as well. And then the last little caveat is if you've previously complete, competed on this competition floor, you can do it again. You'll get an invite if you wanna have another crack at it. So Dr. Bill, Sean, Jerry, if you guys are interested, head over to roguefitness.com and maybe you can be on the other side of the competition floor. <laughs> and I think that's what makes this competition so fun is that there are genuine surprises. I mean, think back to last year, what we saw from Chloe Brennan with the oh. Diddy Stones brought the house down. Absolutely. You know, no one expected to see that. So, the, you know, there are people out there that if you think you can do this, give it a shot because you never know. Yeah. Absolutely. Come out and prove yourself. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, these people, you know, people train in silence. That's one thing about being a strength athlete is that you train mostly individually yeah well the men are going to be up next in the thor's hammer forward hold the current record holder is in the field trey mitchell just over a minute and then the new women's record we just saw set by gabby dixon at 49.15 seconds and gabby dixon isn't completely new to strong she did very well at uh, team usa versus team uk back in the fall so these are professionals mostly going head to head, which is fantastic. They they want to have this crack at making making their own history. Well, four heats for the men, and the final heat is going to be Trey Mitchell versus Mitchell Hooper. That's going to be good. Wow, talk about shoulder strength, huh? They both uh, got multiple reps with the log. 
Yeah, we, we, Hooper had three and Trey had four. Right? Yes, yes. So we know they have, we, they have the shoulder strength. We know they have the strength endurance. Just how much do they have left from Friday? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or the whole weekend, really. Yeah. <laughs> that is Jesse Titus. <laughs> Will be one of the first two athletes out on the floor. The hammer again weighs 65 pounds. It's a little more than 29 kilos. I know, uh, you know some people are watching, like, why has he got glasses on? You don't realize how bright those lights oh. are when you get out there. And they can really be blinding, especially when you're trying to look up and focus. You know, they really can kind of blind you and just, you know, kind of confuse you. You know, and, and the last thing you want when you're, you're lifting. So it, it does it does help. You see a lot of athletes over the years where them. No one's got the Gabby grip. All right, we are underway. Well, the traditional holds there. That's Josh Clority on the right. 60.72 seconds. A little more than 10 seconds in now. Looking pretty solid. A little bit of shake for both the athletes. That's a lot of weight in, uh, to be holding out front. It's a ton of weight. When you get to a minute, it feels like an eternity. About 30 seconds in now. Can the official time being kept? Starting to get a little bobble. On the floor. And I think we're going. And one athlete at Clority is going to be done. And he bowed out at about the 35 second mark. And now he's going to cheer on Jesse Titus, who is looking good here. Yeah, Jesse looking pretty solid. Yeah, very good. We're at about 50 seconds. Hang he, on. He did put a little back tilt on it, so I think that's probably a key to helping. Yeah. And I oh. don't know if he's going to get there. He got close, though. Just a little shy, maybe. Yeah, he saw it. And like strength athletes wow. cheering for each other. Yeah. This right. is a solitary sport. You train, you know, by yourself, and you want to yeah. cheer on the other guys because you know what they went through. Oh, exactly. And these guys are excited to, you know, get a chance to be out on the stage and in front of this crowd and at least get one performance in. You know, it, it's absolutely the high altar of strength, as we yeah. call the the Arnold. Yeah. So Jesse Titus was close, 58.46 seconds, but. Falling short of the record of 60.72 seconds. 58. Oh, close. <laughs> that is so close. So Matt Webb <laughs> and Sean Davis will be the next two athletes out. Th those ones hurt when you're that close. Oh. <laughs> I really am interested to see if someone was backstage watching and maybe says, maybe I'll try that uh, that grip that Gabby has. Yeah. We'll call that the Gabby grip. So Matt Webb is on the right. Sean Davis is on the left. Getting some last minute briefings here from on the standards. Yeah. Webb is a very good master strongman competitor. Good shoulder strength. He should do well at this. And there's Matt Webb. We talked about old man strength. Maybe you can turn a gear here. Yeah. Well, 58.46 seconds. That's the best time that we have seen so far. We'll go ahead and start our unofficial time now. The clock doesn't stop until they have an arms out. So the clocks might not stop at exactly the same time. Yeah, a little bit of shake going on. I think uh, this is the place where you just have to just distance yourself. Just go to some other place. Yeah, numb out that pain. Absolutely. Yeah. And fight. Oh, Got one out. Well, Davis is down. Matt Webb's still alive here. Past the 30 second mark for him. Looking good. Yeah, he's still looking solid. I mean, a little shake, but he's hasn't hasn't bobbled down. I mean, starting to dip a little bit now. Oates telling him. Yeah, That's it. He it. got about 46 seconds and Okay. And a little discussion you, about that. You only get one warning too. Once they got to warn you again about you know dropping, then and you're out. So yep. And that goes for the same thing with the contact of the post, and you get one warning. I've heard all kinds of words being used for the warning. One's just warning. The other is, uh, you know, one. Yeah. You hear the, they'll just say one. One, yeah. <laughs> Four athletes have gone, and so far the best time we've seen 58.46 seconds. So. So neither one of them uh, were in the record breaker range. 
Jacob I mean, Finnerty. He's up in the third round. I, I would expect Jacob to do very well at this. He's he's got he's extremely strong all the way around, but he's got very strong shoulders. He's got a very strong strict log press. So I, I would expect Jacob to do well at this. And he will be by himself. This is the third of four heats, and then after this, it's going to be the current record holder, Trey Mitchell and Mitchell Hooper. The Battle of the Mitchells. <laughs> but the beauty of this, it doesn't matter who you are or what your name is, it's the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it is what it is. That's the way I love, most of us love strength sports. Yeah. Very little subjective. Yeah. What can you do right now? The time has started for Finnerty. Record is 60.72 seconds. A little shake, but strong so far. Holding it. 20 second mark right now. Okay. Oh, Jacob, hold on. Oh, he's really shaking. Wow. He is fighting that. Yeah. He's holding. Oh. Oh, dark drop. He got a warning, yep. Yeah. So right around 40 seconds for Finnerty. So that 58 seconds really shows uh, that was a that was, that was a, a great that hold. Was a great hold. <laughs> So he's kicking himself right now. He didn't get that extra three three seconds. Right. <laughs> so 39.34 officially for Finnerty. This will be interesting to see uh, one more time these two head to head because they just battled head to head all weekend. Another battle here. Just giving the fans an extra treat. Yeah. Mitchell Hooper, your 2023. Arnold Strongman Classic champion, and then Trey Mitchell finishing fourth, but he is the current record holder, and we'll try to best that mark of 60.72 seconds here. And it's all about the record, not just winning, it's about the record. Yeah, yeah Trey. Trey wants a little redemption from letting that lead slip over the last two days. And Mitchell Huber was extremely consistent on Friday and Saturday. He took three thirds and two seconds. To win the title. That's what we said. You don't have to win everything. You just need to you want to win the end. And that's I'd prefer that personally. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's like they Trey Mitchell got bit started bit. a little bit ahead of Mitchell Hooper, so we'll keep that in mind as we go through this. Yeah. Hooper yeah, a on little the bit left of a tilt uh, out Trey of Trey Mitchell uh, on the right. Yeah, Mitchell Hooper's got a little bit of a tilt in his kind of backwards. Trey's, Trey's pretty much straight up and down. Yeah. They had quite a weekend, too. I mean, this has got to be super taxing. Approaching 30 seconds. That was very heavy deadlifts yesterday. That posterior's well, Mitchell starting screaming. To Oh, a little Trey bit Mitchell's starting to bobble a little bit. Mitchell Hooper's still looking pretty good, but now you can see some some of that shaking starting to set in. We're about 45 seconds in, and Trey Mitchell is starting to fight it a little bit on the right. And Trey's the record holder. It was Hooper. Hooper's. Oh, oh, we are getting close. Oh, can they hold it. <laughs> oh, it was Hooper. Oh, Hooper's oh, oh. down. Trey oh, Mitchell Trey, is Trey right around down. a minute, oh, and it's going to be close. He may have done it. Wow. But we'll have, he started ahead of Hooper, so. so. Mitchell Hooper, I think, was around 58 seconds. And I think Trey Mitchell might have a new record. It was very, very close, though. Wait we'll for wait the official time. Great battle. They battled it out and they congratulated each other because they gave the fans what they came to see. Yeah. With the title 63 seconds. 63 seconds oh. for Trey Mitchell. Wow. All right. New record breaker. Perfect. Breaks his own record. It's good work if you can get it. It's great. Not bad. 
Well, he got some redemption back from letting that lead slip over the weekend. Yeah. Finishing up with this, a strong performance yeah. on this record breaker. Go home with an extra check here. Looking at the backup timers. So one event and two records, one for the women. As Gabby Dixon puts up a mark of 49.15 seconds and now Trey Mitchell, 63 seconds and change. We'll wait for the official time on that, but he did break his own record. Taking home an extra five grand. I mean, I, you know, also appreciative of, uh, you know, Rogue investing in not just the implements, but to have athletes get a chance to come out and compete in something like this. Yep. Yeah, we're giving that other athletes a, a chance to come out on the stage and do some sort of a per performance. That's why the record breakers are so great. And resurrecting, uh, you know, keeping alive sort of old time strong man. Yeah. I mean, these, you know, holds and these old front. beats. Yeah, these old beats of strength. <laughs> You know, this goes back, you know, over 100 years, these kind of things. And then you watch the, the earlier uh, World's Strongest Man yep. or uh, Pure Strength. Remember those old shows from yep. the 80s that a lot of uh, front holding. It looks like we have another entry here. This is so Matt Webb oh, is back out. There was a judging error, so Webb is going to go again. Oh. I'm not sure that's an advantage. Tough to go a second time, yeah. <laughs> That's a rough warm up. Look a little more stable than he did the first time. Yeah. 63 seconds is the mark to beat. He's more than 20 seconds in now. It's solid so far. A little bit of shaking, but uh, he's still got good hand position. Yeah. Shoulders are locked. Yeah, the judge hasn't called a warning. Bad now and yeah, I don't uh, know. Yeah. That's, a, that's a tough goal to try to go a second time. Yeah. <laughs> I know they would give you a second round chance, but I don't know. <laughs> well, that would have been incredible. <laughs> that would have been really <laughs> incredible. But it's Trey Mitchell with a new record beating his prior mark by about three seconds, and he's with Kiki Dixon. Trey, you just broke your own world record. What had you coming back for more this year? Uh, just the motivation to pr improve every year, you know, like I'm going to try and hold on to that record as long as I can. Yeah. And you finished up the Arnold Strongman Classic this weekend and you wanted to defend your title. How is the body holding up? It's sore, like after every, every competition, everyone's a little sore, no matter what they tell you. So I just went to bed a little early last night, you know, to recover and woke up, got a good breakfast and, you know, came right over here. Came right over and broke your own world record. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> I don't want to call anybody out, but I'm pretty sure that Trey Mitchell might be the only competitor who got to bed early and got a good breakfast this morning. <laughs> I think so. A lot of guys are kind of letting some steam off and <laughs> celebrating last night. But, you know, that's who he is. He's a, he's a quiet yeah. young man, and, and I... I can appreciate that he does that. You know, I talked to Mark Henry this morning. He and uh, and uh, Mark Henry grew up about a, a mile from each other. Their homes are about a mile apart. In a place they call the Big Thicket in Southeast Texas. Yep. So there must be something in the water. Something they say. down there. <laughs> it's just some strong men. But well, we <laughs> produced a couple great strength athletes yeah. out of there. So. Uh huh. Two of the best. We have five events remaining. We've already seen two records fall. Coming up next is going to be the women's stone over bar for reps. That's a brand new event, so we will have a record there. So stay with us. We'll be right back here on Sunday at the Arnold Sports Festival and the Rogue Record Breakers.
Rogue Record Breakers continues here on Sunday at the Arnold Sports Festival from the Columbus Convention Center in Columbus, Ohio. Up next is the Stone Over Bar for Reps, a brand new event, so if you win it, you have the record in $5,000. Thanks for being with us, everybody. Sean Woodland, Dr. Bill Crawford, and Jerry Pritchett. Kiki Dixon is out on the competition floor. We will be hearing from her uh, throughout the competition. But this is going to be a fun event to watch and, and one, again, that we haven't seen before. Well, I mean, it's stone loading, so everybody loves that. Yeah. Uh, so the original uh, uh, stone that was used were the McGloshan stones back in the early 80s. Mm -hmm. This is now the Atlas stone. Steve Slater made a brand new stone for the women, 350 pounds. And we were talking the... Uh, the 460 that the men will use is from 2007 when they had the stones here at the Arnold. So a little bit of history in one of the stones, but it's a brand new event for here. Yeah, and, and Atlas Stones, something we're very familiar with, you know, traditionally a lot of contests end with Atlas Stones, but the huge difference here is they're not allowed tacky. Mm -hmm. To do these without tacky and no sleeves, no tape, is gonna be extremely difficult. It is definitely gonna leave a mark. Here is the <laughs> event description. You're gonna have two minutes to get as many reps as you possibly can. The stone for the women weighs 350 pounds. It's about 159 kilos. And there is no current record. So win this event and you win $5,000. There will be two women competing. Both of them competed over the past two days at the Arnold Strong Women Classic, Olga Lichuk and Donna Moore. And then when we get to the men, we'll have three male competitors as well as Olga Lichuk is making her way out. It's going to be really interesting to see what these athletes, what mark they set for this record. I mean, a 350 pound stone, no tacky for the for the women. I, I mean, mean <laughs> that's a huge stone with tacky. I mean, and to do it, you know, tackyless is that's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, this is really this is top level all the way. Two great and accomplished stone lifters, though. Yeah, Donna, she's done very well at stones in the past here. I remember when Jill Mills with Tacky about 20 years ago, we mentioned it yesterday, lifted the 300 pound Atlas stone. It was and huge. Then it was just a, a mind boggling idea that someone would do that. Now we're doing 350 for reps, no Tacky. Now they aren't able to touch that 48 inch bar to help. You know, the stone can touch it, but they, the athlete themselves cannot put hands on it to aid the lift. Yeah, no, they, because that was a thing, you could get it where it touches the bar, if you could grab the edge of the bar and kind of, you know, pull yourself like kind of a row, push, pull yourself to it, you push your chest on the stone to push it over the bar, but they won't be allowed to do that. They've got to just get it high enough to push it over the bar. Now they're not allowed tacky, but they can't have the tacky towel out yeah. there. And I believe a grip shirt, yeah. which does help. As you start coming up with that stone, if, if it tries to slide on your, on your shirt and it, trying to load it is impossible. So that does help. If they can get it in a lap position to get it high up on top of their belly, their chest, and it will help that, that grip shirt will help stick. Many people watching are familiar with the ammonia that he, she just took a big snort of. So we talked about the deadlift being red meat for strong man fans, strong woman fans. Atlas Stone Lifting is definitely red meat for yeah, this is strong man and strong woman fans. And she's got a tacky towel. No, no tacky to, to apply, but a tacky towel. We are underway. Two minutes. Girls, get her hands as far underneath that stone as she can. Good. Get a good straight pick in the lap. This thing, here's, here's where the, the problem is with the tacky comes in. It's getting that thing off the ground. She's already about 10 seconds in. It's already heavy enough, and if it starts to slip at all, it, and it, it's a bug. Your hands have to stay under that thing to, to get that pick in the lap, because she wants to do a good straight pick in the lap. Well, now, usually you don't see athletes ditch a belt here. Why do you think she did that? I think Just she, constricting. <laughs> yeah, I think she probably felt like she couldn't get down low enough, because she's trying to get, you know, as low as she can to get her hands under it. Because without tack, she's really got to get her hands under it so she can kind of cup her hands to, to pull that in the lap, where with tacky you can always cheat on it a little bit you can kind of almost short change it you don't have your hands as deep underneath the ball as you do without tacky because she's got to get a huge squeeze on this thing without tacky we're getting close to about a minute in here and she turned the stone a little bit see if there's a little bit of a, an advantage to maybe yeah, sometimes you know if, if it's not completely symmetrical you can get a little better grab somewhere this is all She's rocking the stone That's, side to side to try to get her fingers further. She's getting frustrated with herself. It's, it's such a frustrating feeling 
as you're trying to pull on that thing and your hands are slipping and you, you know you're strong enough to get it, but you're, you're, you're slipping. You can't, you know, you can't get a hold of it. And that's. She has about 30 seconds to go here. She's plenty strong enough to load this. It's just without tacky is extremely difficult. And because all tacky is allowed in competitions now, and it's traditionally what we use, you don't train without it typically, mm -hmm. you know. That's actually a technique some people do use to train without it. And then uh, and when you get in competition, put tacky on it, the thing feels like a balloon. Well, that's one thing Trey is, is always, that Trey's tra trained without it. That's why he's a very good stone loader. And Magnus Olga Anderson also did that too. Yeah. Is unable to get a rep. So Donna Moore gets that thing over one time. She will be the record holder. I think, uh, you know, with the, uh, with the with this setup, I think she typically would be able to do this, but a long weekend. Well, that now comes in play <laughs> as well. After two hard days. Probably Donna Moore is up next. Looks like Hannah Lindsay's there with her to give her some encouragement, kind of being a little coaching. That's probably someone you want in your ear for this event. Yeah, if you Hannah watch Lindsay's her, a, she's a she's a tense. She's, and she's a tense. She's a very good mm -hmm. stone loader, so she can help her, you know, really technique wise as well. I mean, not that I mean Donna's a you know, seasoned strong woman, but you know, you can always like we talked earlier, you know, like Friday, you can always learn something. Absolutely. You know, no matter how long you've been doing this, you know, somebody can always probably have something to offer to. Just a different view at it. They may you you'd have you know looked at it. Donna Moore just needs one rep to set the record here. So basically, you want to you want to dig your fingers, you know, into the stone, and Maybe. then you push your feet down. People try to stand up with it. I always just try to push my feet yeah. down. Get it to your knees, and you can roll it back and then stand up. And it's just a, without tacky, it's a huge squeeze. I mean, so it's it's a lot of really like like chest. It's like the the, the most difficult chest fly, you know, <laughs> it, it, you can squeeze that because you're really trying to crush that ball to get a squeeze on it so it does not slip. And once you can get in the lap, it should be fine. It's just getting it up in the lap. Here we go, Donna. Two minutes oh, for Donna oh, Moore, and the it's, ground. it got it off the ground. It's so. a little bit higher than she can catch it on that knee sleeve and roll it in the lap. And then I think the she'll finish here. it. Oh, yeah, if she gets to the lap, she's going to load it. The fact that she got her off the ground like that, that's a, that's a start. So well, she's thinking, in the, okay. In the first grab like that, just get a little more of the tacky towel, and take some of the moisture off, and get a good pinch on that stone. Here you go, Donna. Oh, she's rocking it side to side to get her hands a little bit further underneath the stone. Come on, Donna. Approaching the one minute mark here. There you go, Donna. There you go. Oh. Just sliding. Right. And here, here's the other thing too, is, you know, when that thing starts to slide, if you're not careful, this is when you get hurt. Yep. You know, because when it starts to slide, then if it grabs again and, and or you start putting too much load on a bicep, is you know, yep. this this event is known for, for bicep tears. Absolutely. You kind of cock your arm a little bit and so that's the why stone she's... drops down a little bit. And, yeah. And that's what that's from a a little bit of a flex position with the bicep, that's when it'll happen. And that's why you can see when she starts to go and she starts letting off because she can feel it slipping. There you go, Donna. She's looking at her left bicep. Yeah, she's had, you know, some, like we all have, you know, <laughs> little bicep, bicep injuries, and they always kind of come back to. She has about 20 seconds left. Here. Come on, Donna. 15 seconds. Get your hands on that thing. Just get your knees, you're rolling the lap. That's probably going to be the last attempt. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll leave her parked there. <laughs> and she's kind of looking at the left arm. You know, it's just, and some of it could just be, it, it's a very abrasive stone. So it, it might have just been just, you Absolutely. know, really just eating up her forearm there. Well, neither Olga Lee Shook or Donna Moore are able to get a rep on that 350 pound, 159 kilo stone. And Donna Moore, who just went, she's with Kiki Dixon. Donna, it looked like there was a little fight going on out there. What was going on? Um, it's just a new tackleless record, so there's nothing to really help you grip to the stone. So it's obviously quite slidey, and it's obviously fairly big. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed. And not only did you come out here to do this, but you also competed in the Arnold Strongwoman Classic. Yeah. What do you love most about this community? 
Um, I think it's all that it's very supportive. We're all here for each other. Um, and that we, I like to show the world that women can be strong. That's really like the, the biggest thing for me. So that everybody here can get to see what we can really do. It's so that's the most for me, the most important part. It's been a blast to watch you all weekend long. Thank, thank you so much. much. Thank you, thank you. Well, the Stone wins that round. The men are coming up here uh, in, in a little bit, but you just see how difficult it is, like you said, Jerry, when you don't have that tacky, it just becomes a whole different fight. It's extremely difficult. It, the, the amount of pinch you have to have on that stone to, to compensate for that tacky is huge. And, and do it, you know, after two days of competition, they're fatigued, they're beat up, they had big deadlifts yesterday, frame carry, you know, they're, they're hurting coming in today. So it's, it's a big ask. Yeah. Also, it's not a natural stone where sometimes you have a little right. little edge or something to get yeah. your fingers under. This is perfectly rounded. You just got to crush down on it, get your fingers planted inside the stone, and pick it up. But well, we hard. will see if any of the men can get a successful rep on their 460-pound stone. We're going to take a quick break, but we'll come back with the stone over bar for the men here at the Rogue Record Breakers.
The Stone won round one for the women. The men will come up next in the Stone over bar as Rogue Record Breakers continues here on Sunday at the Arnold Sports Festival in Columbus, Ohio. And we are glad you are with us, everyone. Sean Woodland with Dr. Bill Crawford and Jerry Pritchett and Kiki Dixon is out there on the competition floor. Brand new event. And as we've been talking throughout, you, you take away the tacky, and now all of a sudden this becomes a very, very difficult challenge. Oh, absolutely. I mean, those are weights that both of them would have, would have put up some reps on. With tacky, it's just, without tacky, it's extremely difficult. Yeah. It really is. But the 460-pound stones they're using, as we said before, was uh, from the set of stones that they used. They called them manhood stones mm -hmm. uh, in 2007. And that's in deference to clockhood fear, which means uh, in Gaelic in Scotland, manhood stones. So... Uh, so that's uh, kind of the deference there. So we talked about the McGlossian stones. Why a round stone? They would actually put those round stones, they'd fashion them and put them on columns in Scotland at the opening of estates in different places. Mm -hmm. That was kind of a, uh, you know, an homage to the, the manhood stone. And sometimes they would roll off and the boys would play with them. In, in particular, there was one stone called the Lady Kirk stone in Ayrshire. Had a chance to lift that. Only about 100 kilos, but, you know, you can't put it back because the column's <laughs> 10 feet high. <laughs> Maybe half door or something, but it's a it's a pretty high uh, take. But you know there is there is a lot of history just with this, not just from World's Strongest Man, but you know going back. Here is what the men will be facing. It's a two minute challenge. They're going to try to get the stone over the 48 inch bar as many times as they possibly can. This is a brand new event, so the winner will be your new record holder, and we will have three men who will be going after this thing. Two of them competed on Friday and Saturday, and they've already done one event here. Mitchell Huber out for the second time today. He is your 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic champion. He looks like he's having fun. Like I said, today's kind of a fun day. Like the, yeah. the stress of the competition is over. These, these are fun, you know. Let's go see what we can do. Let me yeah. see if I can break a record. Try to give it a go. Yeah, like I said, Doctor, it, it it's fun to be a part of these these kind of historic events. Absolutely. You know, like the, kind of recreating them, and, and and another one. You know, it, it's such a great thing that Rogue has done by you know building oh. these. Well, that went up pretty easily, wow. and Easy. one rep for Mitchell Hooper. No kidding. <laughs> he got one within five seconds. Oh oh. Oh, grabbing the tacky towel. It, it is a different animal, isn't it? It's a completely different animal without tacky. Uh huh. Also, too, you know, with tacky, you do that top roll technique. Yeah. There's no top roll with yeah. the, without the tacky. That this, is. this one, this stone does seem a little different than the women's, where it looks shiny like that. Tack, the, even from the tacky towel, might have a little more stick than that one of the on the women's towel. They weren't getting anything. No. Hooper trying to get a little help from the crowd here. He's got to hold it pretty well there. And going for oh. his second rep. Come on now. He is okay. trying to top hold. There we go. Oh. Oh, just can't <laughs> get it over that bar. And I think he might be calling it. Got a good solid rep. But he has the record right now. One good rep. That's it. And that will first one. You blinked, you missed it. Got within within five seconds, that thing got oh. up and over. Now, uh, Matt Magnus is going to get him to do another one. Give another go. He's got some time. He's got about 35 seconds left, so. Who knows? Maybe he can get one more here. Looks a little sweaty, too. I mean, that probably yeah, that could have something to do with it also. Yeah, it doesn't help. Oh, here we go. There we go. Get on it. <laughs> That's it. Doesn't have a Come ton on, of Mitchell, time. 15 it. seconds to go. Yeah. That's it. A hands under. Oh! oh. I just can't get there. <laughs> yeah, the hand let go. Yeah. Wow. Great effort. One fun thing about watching Mitchell Hooper is he always seems to be enjoying himself. He always engages with the crowd. And he's got to be have a smile on his face after what he did this past weekend. I mean, yeah, he walked up to yeah. me and he said, "Did I actually win the Arnold Classic?" I'm like, "You won." <laughs> That's why they handed you that big trophy yeah. of Lewis Sear. <laughs> well, Jordan Mulligan will be up next. So one rep right now is the record, and Jordan's fresh. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, he trains with someone that we know who's pretty good at stone loading. 
I think he trains with the uh, Stolt, uh, the Stoltmans. Oh, man. Yeah. He should be well coached on stones. I think so. Yeah. Both of them are very good at stones, and, and Tom's exceptional. Tom might be the best ever, yeah. honestly. Yeah. World record holder in that, and just if you see him in person, you can't even believe what you're watching. Yeah. Hey. But he does them so easily. Jordan went with the grip shirt. Whoa! Oh. Got it off the ground. If he can get it in the lap, it should help him go for the load. Wow. There, there go. he goes. Holding the lap. Oh! Oh, oh, yeah. there he is. That will tie the record. Right. Okay. Right. He's nice and fresh. He's been, he came just for this. Yeah, now take a second. Whoa. Oh. A little faster, actually. Yeah. Nice, nice. Finish, finish, finish. Finish. Wow. And that will be two. Wow. Ooh. That's the record. Still has plenty of time. We're not even That's a big. minute down yet. Yeah. But he's getting his hands a little bit lower. He's not trying to top load it. So he's, no. he's prepared to not have tacky. Yeah. What he's doing is he's, he's so low on coming up on the load, leaning back. He's putting a lot of load on those knees, leaning back like that. He does have, uh, he's got nice long arms too, so he's got some, some good leverages. Yeah. So less than a minute to go here. Well, this could be three. He's rolling it. Oh my gosh, so close. Come on. Finish. Come on. Has it yeah. up and over. Wow. wow. <laughs> there we go. He is thrilled. Listen to the crowd. Wow. About 30 seconds left. <laughs> he might be able to get another one here. He could. He try it. That would be a lot to co to overcome for the next competitor, no question. Yeah, he's, he's going to leave a big mark for Trey to go after. Three is great anyway, huh? Yeah, even just that, yeah. 460-pound stone. It's sort of like someone else who showed up from Scotland last year and showed up with the stones. Well, he's got the crowd behind him. Got about 10 seconds left here. This is going to be close. Oh. I think that's it. <laughs> but three good reps for Jordan Mulligan, and that is going to be a tough mark to beat for huge. Trey Mitchell. It's a huge effort. I think it's a great result. <laughs> three reps. And that's, again, we talked about it earlier, what makes this so fun is that this is not someone we know a whole lot about. Didn't see him compete. Comes out here and has bested the Arnold Strongman Classic champion. Absolutely. So Trey's yet to go, so he still made a lot of presence here. I'm sure he's going to have a lot of attention on himself after this. Chloe became an instant star last year. Still she, one of the coolest moments that we've oh, seen Oh, absolutely. She, she, got, she told me she got 36,000 views in the first uh, hour. Wow. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just somebody told me, on you know, it's, it's gone up to 20 million views. Wow. So uh, people are watching. Yeah. Well, Trey's a great stone loader. He trains without tacky, so this isn't unfamiliar for him. And you told us that he was, uh, that he, he lifted the 460 just cold. He did cold, yeah. At Will Strong's man, the TV wanted him reset, and he went over the cold and loaded him. Wow, that goes up pretty easily for Trey Mitchell. Yeah, There's I, one. See Trey taking this pretty well. Here we go. Got that within five seconds. This is a difference, you know, someone that trains without tacky. He says, this is nothing new to him. He's used to pinching that stone. And there is two. <laughs> Trey Mitchell's wow. looking really two good reps. right now. What are we, like 15 seconds in? Yeah. We're about 30 seconds unofficially right now. <laughs> Close. He's going to take his time. Yeah. One gets, more he ties. Make sure he gets four. Not even a hitch. No. And look at that stone does not move as he comes up. Unbelievable. I mean, you could shoot an instructional video out of this. This yeah. is basically perfect. Fantastic. That's perfect. Straight pick in the lap. Low lap position. Got it high on, on top of his belly, chest, then straight up. The stone, a, and the stone does not slip. About a minute left for Trey Mitchell. He's already tied Jordan Mulligan's mark of three. Let's see if he gets this, if he keeps pushing past this to set that bar further away. This for $5,000 and make oh. that check payable to Trey Mitchell. There we go. That's two records. Four reps, and he still has time to go after another one here. 
I said, you can keep going if you want. We got four reps. Uh, okay. Do another. Why not? Yeah, we're here. I can do it. People are watching at home. People are watching yeah. the crowd. A little less than 30 seconds, about 20 seconds now for Trey Mitchell. Right. Get the crowd. Let's see five. There you go, Trey. Oh. 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 First bobble we have seen from Trey Mitchell. He's got to reset himself. And there's five. <laughs> Even with the bobble. That's huge. That is really strong. Yeah. That is $1,000 per <laughs> lift. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 1000 bucks a rep. I like it. Well, Trey Mitchell has set two records today. Beat his hammer hold record. So not a bad day's work oh. for Trey Mitchell. Already $10,000 in his pocket right now. Mr. Record Breakers. Yeah. Take an extra 10K back to Texas. <laughs> and Trey Mitchell is with Kiki Dixon. Okay. Trey, you just earned yourself $10,000 today. How's it feeling? Well, it's not a bad payday for it. Just uh, three minutes of working, you know. Yeah, feel good. Like, last time I tried for the stone record, I kind of screwed up with the tacky. And this time, I trained tacky list, so this is kind of my deal, to go in for heavy stones. It sure is. Congratulations on two world records today. Thank you so much for it. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Great to see Trey Mitchell. I know he was disappointed with how things uh, wound up yesterday at the Arnold Strongman Classic, but you know, ten thousand bucks, like you said, for about three minutes of work—not a bad, not a bad day's work. He definitely got his redemp redemption. Yeah, absolutely, today. absolutely, I, and also too, I, I think that you know maybe show some folks at home another technique training without tacky. You yeah. put the tacky on in competition, maybe it goes a little easier for you on your on your stone loading. But it's definitely paid off for Trey. Yeah. Absolutely, but four hundred sixty pounds for five reps we were talking about when 400 pound atlas stones were the absolute record just 20 years ago and now we're 460 and yeah. unbelievable we still have a couple events remaining coming up next around 12 20 local time we will have the women's dinny stone hold and that was the one that really brought down the house uh, last year we'll see if we have another moment like that so stay with us here at the rogue record breakers on sunday at the arnold sports festival
It's one of the oldest tests of strengths in the strongman world. The Denny Stones are making their first appearance here at the Road Record Breakers on Sunday at the Arnold Sports Festival here in Columbus, Ohio. Thanks for staying with us, everybody. Sean Woodland with Dr. Bill Crawford and Jerry Pritchett. We have Kiki Dixon out on the competition floor, and I know this is the one you love. This is this is in your wheelhouse here. Well, this goes deep for me because I've been over to Scotland many times and even this past summer to, to lift the original Denny's. But, you know, the history of this is Donald Denny supposedly picked these up and, and carried a pair of stones. And these are replicas actually made by Gordon Denny, yeah. who was a descendant of, uh, of uh, him, and I knew him, uh, I knew Gordon Denny pretty well. There's actually a book about Donald Denny, if anyone's interested, called The First Sporting Superstar by Donald, uh, Donald's uh, great-great-great-grandson, Gordon Denny and David Webster. We'll get into the history and some of the cool things that have happened uh, with these implements here in a second, but uh, here is the challenge. It's the Denny Stone hold uh, for the women. 734 pounds is the combined weight on both of those things. The current women's record was one of the coolest moments we have seen here at the Rogue <laughs> Record Breakers. It was Chloe Brennan last year picked those things up for 1.33 seconds. And she weighed 145 pounds that day. She walked out, and we were like, hmm, okay. Because these other really <laughs> impressive strong women came out and couldn't lift them. She comes out and picked them right up. Uh, and uh, one of the most incinerating moments I've ever seen in strength sports, period. Uh, these are extremely difficult. I mean, not only do you have to be strong just to pick up this kind of weight, but these, these handles, these rings, are, oh. it's like they're cutting your hand in half. Absolutely. You know? So it, it's, you have to go through the pain of it. And Nadia Stowers will be up first. She'll be the first of three women to attempt these. So a combined weight of over 732 pounds. Nadia's a very good strong woman competitor. And there they go. Oh, there they go. That's the record. That it. is the got record. It. Hang on hold to on. it. Wow. Oh. Wow. Well, we have a new record. Really popped them off the ground really well. And immediately she looks at her hands. But Nadia Stowers is your new record holder. We're going to have to wait and see what the time on that is. A lot of athletes use either a, use a hook grip. Yeah. You know, getting that uh, thumb underneath the uh, fingers on, the, on those. And I think she did that. Yeah. And that can be even more painful, honestly. Oh, it's even more painful. 5.69 seconds. Wow. The gauntlet is down. And that's, that's the thing, right, Dr. Bill? They just have to be off the ground. It's not like a deadlift. You have to be up in a standing rec position. They just have to be off the ground, right? Absolutely. You have to have daylight, right? Like, the, as they used to say, uh, wind, wind twixt the stone and the, and the ground. Yeah. That's it. Gabby Dixon is coming out next. Now, she has already set one record today. That was in the Thor's hammer hold at 49.15 seconds. So she's pocketed five grand. She did very well at a Hercules hold in England with uh, Team USA against Team UK. She did very well for Team USA in that. So she has a good grip. So just as we kind of predicted last year that, that you know, Chloe's performance would spur other women on to come out and, and make a run at these and... and and well, get this up. It's really what you know. Some of this is about, right? Is inspiring other athletes to come out here, get on the stage, you know, show what you got. Absolutely. You know, and uh, another way that people actually train, you can you can get these on Rogue is loading pins uh, yep. on the Rogue website with the, with the actual rings, um, and you can just plate load them as yep. a progression. You don't start with. Yeah. 732 <laughs> plus pounds. But that way you can practice with the rings because right. you have to probably get a hold of the, the rings because to hold them like farmer's handles or something like that is completely different than, than holding on to these rings. Beautiful replicas. You can see the plate on the front of them commemorating the, that they are replicas. 5.69 seconds is now the new record, and here goes Gabby Dixon. Got a hook grip. Setting in. These are coached. These these people are coached. Oh, and they are oh. off the ground. Wow. Wow. He's she solid. just took that off the ground. Hold it. And that's oh. going to be very close. Oh. It's going to be very close. <laughs> very experienced uh, scorers there. Brad Gillingham, eight-time IPF world champion in powerlifting. And we have a new record, 6.86 seconds for Gabby Dixon. Wow. No pressure, Tamara. <laughs> so Tamara Walcott, who deadlifted 651 pounds yesterday, 
will try to beat 6.86 seconds. So think back to last year when we could barely break those things off the ground. Yeah. And yeah, they're, they're lifts them off the ground very easily. Well, one of the techniques you can use, uh, uh, Jerry, is to uh, actually with the Denny stone replicas or the uh, actual Denny's, the, the smaller stone, you put that one behind you. And most people that are left and right handed will take that left hand and put it behind them. And so you'll pick that one up first and kind of lean back and ballast the front stone. But they're just picking them straight up. Yeah, they're, they're just driving their feet down. Actually get a really strong grip and nice long athletic uh, hook. In other words, uh, arms are long and just push your feet down. So, you know, it's not as much back as it looks because you're really pushing your feet down. Yeah, almost turning into leg press a bit. Yeah, like, like a leverage. So you mentioned you were you were able to get a hold of the, or you were in Scotland last summer, and you and your son yes. are in the history books. That's well, something that's that's pretty cool. Special, uh, special for us to be the, uh, we think the first father and son probably lift them on the same day. And he, had, my son was uh, just turned 20 years old and held him for 27 seconds, which was the fifth longest hold of all time with the actual Denny stones. These rings are a little bit different. You'll see that they're kind of a, you know, standard size stone. You'd see a, a ring you'd see with a, uh, uh, like a weight that you would throw like weight over bar. But the, the, the actual Denny stones, the, the large ring, the large stone has a large ring on it. It's a little bit larger. It's a little bit thicker. So it's, it is a little bit different. Oh. Uh huh. So um, some people, th it's a personal preference. Now, is your, is your son, is he the youngest to lift? Uh, Denny's? I, pretty, well, pretty close. I, yeah. yeah, pretty close also. He's the, he's the youngest that we know of that lifted the Husafel stone oh. at 18. Oh. <laughs> and now tomorrow, Walcott, who made her first ever appearance in a strong woman competition the last two days at the Arnold Strongwoman Classic, and again had that world record deadlift, tied the world record at 651 pounds, along with Victoria Long. And we know she has a good grip. She went without straps yesterday. Amazing. On the deadlift, had that powerlifting background. Oh, she's she's Sorry, good was, gripping. The too. weight was 561 on the deadlift, so I got that wrong. Apologies. She's got a hook grip too. Come on, Tamara. Set your hips. Here she goes. Oh. <laughs> Second thoughts about the belt. I just forgot the proper belt. These are actually made in Scotland in Old Meldrum. Brought over by Rogue. <laughs> so she did lift 651 pounds yesterday along with Victoria Long. Come on now, stand up with it. Trying to break those things off the oh. ground. But she's been competing all weekend. Yeah, she had a couple of big heavy deadlifts yesterday. That, you know, that one that she started losing the grip on. And, and that, come back to get it on the, on, the, on the third. That means that Gabby Dixon, like Trey Mitchell, has now collected a total of $10,000. <laughs> double her payday. Wow. Not bad. 6.86 seconds is your new record. Beats the old record by more than five seconds. And Gabby Dixon once again is with Kiki Dixon. Gabby, you've won $10,000 today, setting two world records. How you feel about that payday? Oh, I'm feeling pretty good about it, honestly. I'm, I'm ready for some money. <laughs> And when did you first get into these types of events? I actually do strongman. So this is right at my wheelhouse. Grip strength is my jam. So I thought, why not? And what got you interested in strongman? When were you first deciding, hey, I think I want to try doing that stuff? Um, I've always been interested in strength sports. I played a multitude of sports. I played volleyball, basketball, did track and field in college, and I did rugby was the last sport that I played. I actually discovered strongman while I was playing rugby in New Zealand. Wow. Looks like you found your home. Congratulations. Thank you. Hope to be back next year. Thank you, guys. Gabby Dixon, two records so far. And you talk about just how far we have come in a year. Last year, only one woman. That was uh, Chloe Brennan able to even break those things off the ground. And now we have a hold of nearly seven seconds. Absolutely. I mean, 1.33 seconds to almost seven seconds. That's a substantial amount of time. Because once you get to that three or four second mark, you just start to your brain starts to talk to you. And like Jerry said, those rings hurt a lot. I can't imagine what that pressure must feel so like on the bottom of your hand. They really feel like they're cutting your hand off, yeah. you know. 
As that, that was impressive to see both of them go back and forth on those. They're it, setting them up now for the walk. And that's how they have to transport that thing with a steel bar. Two guys are going to carry it down. One down. And the, the crew, the road crew that's been fantastic all weekend long, it is not comprised of small individuals. No, no. these are strong. <laughs> so those guys are uh, getting us reset for the, the walk, and we will have our current record holder, Kevin Ferris, in the field for the men. We'll have a total of uh, six men who are uh, set to go in the, the final event of the day here. And we will see if we will have yet another record fall. So, so far, I think we've had a record in every event. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Kevin yeah. Ferris is here to try to reclaim or, or lengthen his record. Yeah, Kevin's very good at these. Uh, Mitch Hooper's done well at these and, and other competitions where they have you know, similar replicas of these. Well, he's, uh, he's held the, uh, the with these replicas at the uh, invitation. He's got the all-time record at 39 seconds on a hold. Yeah. Let's bring in Kiki Dixon out there on the competition floor. Guys, I don't know if you notice, but the floor got a bit of an upgrade this year. That's because last year, Kevin Ferris went much further than anticipated. We thought that those stones were gonna end up in the audience's lap. This time, they've made a really nice runway for that catwalk when Kevin Ferris comes back in action this year. Thank you, Kiki. And we're still getting those stones set. So the current record is 25 feet, 8 inches. Uh, that's what Kevin set last year. So it's not just having that grip. Those stones are banging on your legs. Yeah. And you're, it starts to pull down on your traps. This is a superhuman amount of, uh, of strength. Well, your, your, your traps, your shoulders, your upper back. Normally, it's, you know, it's cutting your hands off, you know, and they're banging on your calves, trying to get a step in. And, and they're on even weights as well. So they're really kind of torquing your body back and forth. Absolutely. So it's not just, uh, you know, straddling them. You have they're, they're holding them side to side, which is a little bit different. Uh, it's a little harder to lift because it wants to drag up your legs. And then you have to take one step at a time while holding on to them. So this is going to be a real, this is a true, true test of strength. It's just a primal, primal. They actually hold, uh, uh, there's the nickel stones. Uh, Brett Nickel in, in Scotland lives just a few miles down. It's like the keeper of the actual Denny's. He's got a replica set of stones called the Nickel Stones that they carry at the Giants Live yeah. and, and have been very popular in other events there in, in Scotland and Great Britain. But um, so the Denny Stones themselves have inspired a lot of people. Yeah. I can tell you, if you can lift these rings, you're, you've got a pair of hands on them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm super excited by this, that, we, that we've elevated the Denny Stones to be able to have this kind of competition and, and uh, have a real prize at stake as well. And also, you know, people said, oh, the original Denny Stones were carried the length of the P bridge at Patark. You know, a lot of people saw that History Channel, uh, uh, you know, uh, a show where Brian Shaw right. carried them 11 feet. And, yeah. and since then, uh, you know, the actual Denny Stones uh, were carried 14 feet by Big Laws. Wow. Uh, but it's, so the width of the bridge is 17 feet. So no human has ever lifted them and carried them all the way across. Now, you know, it was thought to be a myth that that even happened. That, it, that someone even lifted the stones, much less got them across. He probably, like, lifted them in sequence and kind of hitched them up and down. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, uh. Well, Matt McDougal will be up first. I saw Big Matt a couple of weeks ago with the famous Steve Jack stones that are much smaller than these stones, but he actually won that event with a, over 90 feet of a carry. So oh. he's well he's well versed in stone carrying of this sort. 25 feet, 8 inches. That is the record. It belongs to Kevin Ferris. So the, the first half of this battle is just picking them up. Absolutely. And that big stone wants to just lean into you. See, it's just yeah. digging right into you. Sometimes getting a, getting your feet really close together. Nice. Not like picking up even farmer's handles. No, no, not at all. I mean, 730, over 730 pounds, even with farmer's handles is, a, is quite a feat. But with the stone, that'll do it. Whoa. He's going to bow out. Matthew McDougall unable to get those stones held aloft and work his way down the track. I, I agree with you, Jerry. The first, the first feat's just getting standing up with them yeah. side to side like that. That is a really difficult way to pick them. Yeah, then, then start inching your feet forward. Alexander Milburn is the next man out. 
He's got his belt on so he can feel extra support, but those hands are just it. <laughs> yeah. It's all hands. Because without that, he's got on jeans. I kind of like that choice because uh, those things want to kind of scratch up against you. Beat up your leg, yeah. I think might want a pair of Levi's. Might not be a bad idea. Absolutely. You'd notice that uh, that Matt had those uh, neoprene sleeves that were kind of hanging down a little bit. And Alex actually volunteered over the past couple of days at the Arnold Strongman Classic. <laughs> that's, that's tough. <laughs> and then those guys right there in those blue shirts, is Steve Slater's crew and Rogue's crew, they're, they're the hardest working people here. Absolutely. Resetting all these events all weekend long. Oh, those guys have got to be exhausted. And you know they're doing a great job because you rarely notice them. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and things well, they're, they're are so set quick. up so nicely. Yeah. And everything's set up so efficiently. It's their plan of attack. And Yesterday they cleaned off the uh, Steintossen event with all that, with 10,000 pounds of sand. With, with the it had the, it yeah. had the ramp up within like 10 minutes. Yeah. Well-oiled machine. Yeah. Alex Milburn will be the next man up, the second of six competitors. Okay, so he's got uh, using the hook grip, that really you know really narrow foot placement, so that stone's not going to kick up and try to drag against his leg. Oh, they're up oh, easily. There he goes. Moving. There he goes. Here we go. Oh, down. Just so and that's going to be walk it. With. They bang against your legs, they're really they're trying to, to collapse you each step. Absolutely. Not only that, once they start swinging, that's it. Yeah. You imagine, you know, uh, 320 pounds in one hand and 415 pounds roughly in the other hand. They yeah. start swinging. They'll yeah. stop you. That's it. They're using the, uh, the uh, one drop rule, allowing you to drop and pick up one time. And they gave him just a bit of a grace on that on that first one, a few inches, kind of to get going. And after that, multiple attempts can be made through the 90 second time period, so they can actually keep going through the 90 seconds. So if he wanted to keep going, then you know. Oh, okay, so he just timed out. Pick and drop. Well, that's kind of how we think that you know Donald Denny Way himself may have, may have done it. Just kind of a pick and drop, pick and drop as a as opposed to a straight carry, which Kevin last year just did a straight Three. carry. But once you have to reach down and pick them back up, uh, just like a farmer's walk, it is just. I can say after that first <laughs> drop, it, 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 the difficulty just multiplied by 10, you know. It's so hard. It's so hard to pick them back up and keep moving with them. Well, you, you, you get fatigued and your hands are so sore at that point to put that load back on your hands to re-pick them. Now, Sean Davis will be the next man up as Alex Milburn's official score was four feet nine inches. Like once you've taken that strain once and it, He's got to go, and then that's going to be about it. Everybody's using the hook grip so far. Just like an Olympic lifting or Highland Games throwing. Just gives a little bit extra handle. Stand up. Keep going. There you go. He's got him up. Oh, no distance so far. Got to take a step. I think oh. that's going to be it for Sean Davis. Wow. You got an over 700 pound just deadlift there oh. just to stand up with them, <laughs> you know. And they're digging into your legs. Magnus talking to them. You know, one of the first guys to lift the Denny Stones, as we said, it was thought to be a myth that they were even lifted for about 100 years. And someone named David Prowse, who was Darth Vader in the Star Wars movies, lifted them with straps in the 60s. David Prowse. Yes, David yeah. Prowse. And then uh, Jack Shanks, a 185-pound police officer, actually lifted them barehanded in 1973. He had a tie on. <laughs> Jeez. I guarantee that's a bit of a history that most people wouldn't know, you know, that, that, that he had, uh, would, would, had done those. Jack you know. is still alive, and uh, talked to him a couple times a year. And his, his son Stevie's very involved with the Denny Stones, the actual Denny Stones themselves, and stone lifting. Doug Jones is the next man up best distance we've seen so far Alex Milburn at four feet nine inches come on Doug get these up a nice efficient lift the first first step as Jerry was saying He's got his lower legs covered stand up brace the pain
I think underscoring how fantastic the lives were by the women just picking them up. This is a different technique that they have to use, but still. Yeah, it, it is very difficult to pick them up on the sides like that. Wow. Okay. That leaves two competitors left, Mitchell Hooper and then our current record holder, Kevin Ferris. The beautiful thing about these stones are, I mean, the, the replicas are getting their own history, but you can go to, you can go to Scotland. They're, they're somewhat guarded now so that, you know, they're, they're not abused at all, but you don't play baseball with, Bo with Babe Ruth's bat. No. You can go lift Donald Denny's stones. That's, yeah, it's really Isn't cool. that amazing? It's really cool. <laughs> and, and get your name in the book if you Yes, do yes, absolutely. So that's a, that's, that's a piece of this. This is, this kind of thing is living history. Yeah. You know, and you can compare yourself to people of the past. We have a late addition here. Kaim Johansson huh. is going to step out. And we'll see what he can do here. Okay. Hmm. He's from Sweden. Okay. Well, the Swedes have a lot of uh, strongman background, yeah. a lot of stone lifting background, a lot of people don't talk about, but Magnus Samuelson with his grip and his ability, I wonder what he could do with these in yeah. the, back in his prime. <laughs> so the Swedes have a stone lifting tradition where they would actually carry, uh, they would carry a stone like a Husafell stone type carry, and the distance that you carried, you would actually get paid as like a, sort of a uh, pro rating system. You really? carry a stone 50 feet, they'd pay a certain rate. Carry it 75 or 100 feet, they'd, they would pay you more because you were a stronger man, a better worker. Oh. You carry it 26 feet here, you're going to get $5,000. And here goes Kyle Johansson, who is a late addition. And oh, he's moving. Great job. He's, he's moving. moving, yeah. He moving. Very good job here. There we go. Yes. He's Keep moving. going. Oh. He's right around 14 feet. Notice how he's got the stone against his legs, and instead of fighting them, he's sort of letting the stone yeah. be pushed with his leg one at a time. And you can see that red oh, mark. He's right is there. there. He's right there. Come on. Oh, he's close. Oh, very stop. close, but so far the best effort that we have seen. Wow. Hey, wow, late entry. Fantastic. I'll take that. That is a great effort. So apparently, Kyle Johansson was in the back, was watching this, walked up, to Ode Haug and say, hey, can I give that a try? And they gave him a red shirt and they said, get out there. And now, here you go. <laughs> and he almost beat the record. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm Swedish. I can do it. That looks like something I can do. Almost 23 feet, I think. So 23 feet even. Wow. That is close. Just a couple of feet off. He was two feet, eight inches shy of the record. And we're so just hanging how, out here. See how they're using this bar to get them back. When David uh, David Webster found these stones back in the early 50s in the River Batar, because they thought they were lost, they were actually just dumped into the river. They used to actually, he and his training partner, uh, Alec Thompson, who I've met several times in the fortunes past, but he actually, they took a, an old standard barbell, and that's how they got it up got, the hill. Got it out. And so they paused, they paused them in front of the pub door, and people were shocked, and they said, yeah, we just carried them up. It was both of them with a bar like that. <laughs> But it was up a steep bank, so quite a feat. Yeah. So Kaim Johansson didn't know that each stone was a different weight, and that's the first time he's ever tried to pick them up. Wow. <laughs> get that man training and get him yeah. back out here. I want to well, find that guy and talk to him a little yeah. bit. Here's Mitchell Hooper, your 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic champion. I've said a bunch of times the, the strongest people in the world don't even know it. Yeah. There's, there are people all over the world that have that talent and that ability. They don't even know it. Yeah, get that man a coach. Absolutely. Mitchell is the uh, record holder with 39 seconds, uh, 39 and change uh, on the Denny Stone replica hold last year at the Invitational. Carrying them is a different beast. It's a different beast. Also using a hook grip. Yeah, hold them's only half the battle. He's carried the replicas well before. And Mitchell Hooper with his attempt here on the Denny Stone. Stood right up. Oh. oh. oh he's not here. He's like, uh, <laughs> hands are having it today. I will <laughs> take my championship and I will go home. Thank yes. you very much. I'll keep my thumbs today. <laughs> 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 
and his, and his usual smiling, just having a ball, just getting to have a chance to do this. He could say he lifted the replicas. Yeah. There, there you go. The Invitational, and now everything they're doing with the Rogue Record Breakers and running the Arnold. For me, if I'm tired, but I'm healthy and I'm uninjured, um, I'm always going to be out here trying. Uh, that was a terrible effort, but uh, th thanks so much, guys, for coming out. Huge thank you to, uh, to Rogue for everything they're doing for the sport. So appreciate it. Wow, Kaim Johansson, that was uh, that was astounding. He that, he almost got it. I mean, yeah. 23 feet is a crazy carry. Well, Kevin oh. Ferris is the last man left as Mitchell Hooper walks off the the floor, and I was I got to talk to him briefly last night, and and you were talking to him as well, Doctor Bill. But he's just a guy who just seems to love doing different stuff. Absolutely, no just question enjoy about it. Enjoys the experience. Now, Kevin Ferris, who is your current record holder, 25 feet five inches, the red mark. That is his top distance. If you can get past that, he will collect five thousand dollars but yeah. last year he did it without competing all weekend yeah he was fresh but and kevin's got a great grip you know yeah. he, he works with his hands all day he works as a pipe fitter that's why you know he's really built that that grip he's a record holder with the nickel stones also yeah. so this is this is his wheelhouse so yeah. he's I, trying to break his own record and collect that five thousand dollars and he'll earn it this is a this is quite a feat you know, you stand up with those stones and you just feel that weight and that pressure. And then you got to start moving your yep. feet. Now, Kevin Ferris was one of the handful of men who was able to complete the timber carry last night. He was the first athlete out and did it. And it's like, oh, everybody's going to run up the platform. <laughs> no, I don't no. think so. <laughs> the ramp, the ramp would, uh, was quite a challenge. If they want to drag that back out today, I'll go find a belt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. We're going to set Come up. On, Kevin. I'm pretty sure he uses the hook grip also. And uh, looks like he oh, does. You should zoom in on it a little bit. You can see how you just you place your thumb between the ring and your and your fingers, and that sort of acts like a natural strap. But I can tell you, if you've not done it before, that is painful. Oh, it's painful. Okay, he's up. Here he Kevin goes. Go, oh, Kevin. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. There you go. That's it. He's not Keep fighting moving. the stones. Keep moving. And, and there's only just a such a pace you can take, right? Because too much, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take you over. This almost turns into a grip competition because you have to hold on to them first. Was it? Yeah, there's a time. Oh, there he goes. Come Getting on, closer. He wants to Get at least there. be the champion of the day. Get Just there. a few feet. Come Get on. There, Come on. Ferris. Oh, he got it. Maybe with that last <laughs> swing, I think that's going to do it. Got it. <laughs> you usually uh, measure the uh, front. Well, he's got some time. Keep going. Come on, Kevin. Oh, this is going to be quite a feat just to get him off the ground again. And there goes Kevin easily. Ferris. Each step is a new record. Get over 30. There you go, Kevin. Come on, Kevin. Over 30 He's feet. there talking to him. Hold it. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking to the judge holding him. I would say that's a strong man. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Kevin Ferris. That Another record falls. Wow. And it's Kevin Ferris who is going to best his prior mark of 25 feet, 8 inches, and pick up $5,000. Official mark. Bill Durson down there marking. Brad Gillingham. 31 feet 7 wow. inches is now the new record. It's almost like a special talent. That's just a super grip strength. Yeah. Overall body strength. If you can carry those, you can carry about anything. I tell you, that, that working man, construction strong. You know, he Absolutely. works with his hands all day. He's, he's twisting wrenches all the time. Let's go to Kiki Dixon. Kevin, you just broke your own record, setting a new world record. What's that like? Why did I have to go as far? Because now next year I got to go even further. But uh, it's a great way to finish off a, a week this weekend and uh, yeah, come off with the new world record. That's perfect. Amen. Solid finish. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Well, Kevin Ferris closes things out with a record 31 feet, 7 inches amazing and I'm, I'm really happy about that for him and that was super fun to watch yeah. that was great to watch and we had a new hold record by the women 
the standard keeps going up and up and up as we call attention to these kind of events. Any chance you might want to give these a, these a go next year? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> that, was really cool. that was exciting. Yeah. We're into the, uh, the weekend, a great weekend, and, and they finished off as strong as it started. It was an absolute blast over these last three days, and I cannot wait to see what we can achieve next year here at the Arnold Sports Festival. Thank you so much for being with us today, everybody. We really appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed our coverage for Dr. Bill Crawford, Jerry Pritchett, and Kiki Dixon, and our entire hardworking crew here in Columbus. Thanks so much for watching the Rogue Record Breakers here on the final day of the Arnold Sports Festival.